up guys? My name's Tim and welcome back to Dynamite Explode. This is a game I have been waiting seven years to fucking play. No lie. Ah, Mirror's Edge 2. I can't believe the game is fu- well, I mean it's not out. This is the beta. But still, fucking super duper excited. There's just something so freeing about this game. Just running, you know? Nothing in your way, the wind in your hair. It doesn't get better than this. It really does. At least, at least not for me. It doesn't get any better than this. I am so fucking excited to play this game. Alright. Easy peasy. Lemon ch cherry. Wait, I Who, who yeah. would leave a window open this high up? There might be a few employees around, but this has got to be a trap. Hey, especially a window that doesn't lead to an office or anything. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, there we go. Alright, cool. So now I get to shimmy across here. Oh my god! This is so fucking awesome! Ah, uh, Come on, EA. You guys gotta make a virtual reality mod for this. This is so fucking cool. Oh! I'm riding- Oh! I'm riding the car up! Oh! This is so cool! Wow, this is a pretty game. That's one of the things I love about Mirror's Edge, is that they use all these su really simple colors. It just make the whole thing just beautiful. All right, now we're in the air duct. Right, so this yellow, this this red line that you're seeing, that's the uh, runner's vision. It gives you a. It's basically telling you uh, the. One of the lines that you can run in order to uh, complete your objective. So you just follow the, the red line. But you don't have to follow the red line. Uh, as you'll notice, uh, there's been some times, hell, in this mission alone, where I've uh, decided to choose a different line than what they were giving me. And that's the cool part. There's multiple ways for you to finish. Oh, it's like a hologram. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Shotgun. Oh, I found some recordings, I guess. All right, I gotta go up. All right, uh, let's see. How do we get up? And that would be how. <laughs> it's... Let me tell you, it's so satisfying when you, uh, it's so satisfying when you, when there's no runner's lines for you, the, the runner's vision as uh, the game calls it, and you find a way to actually get by something, it feels so good. Uh, down here, there we go. Oh, the shotgun is like computer program. Gotcha. I thought I meant a literal shotgun. Oh, there's a fucking ninja. Gotta get out of your faith. Alright, so... We gotta, we gotta find... Out where this guy's going. So we'll just run across the, and jump into the wall, I guess. And we'll just climb the, that's so cool. Like the, uh, that's part of the art deco of the uh, office building. And you're just climbing up it. I love it when games do that. Especially this one, because this one's awesome. All right. This area is different. Ooh, server room. Uh, 
Oh man, Faith is getting some real deep fine shit here, man. It's game over, man. Oh, that ninja knocked out that nerd. <laughs> yeah, you're cool. You knocked out a scientist. Ah, what a dick. She's got some cool shoes. I like them. I like her tattoo on her eye. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh, hey. Results we're seeing from Everest. That's good to hear. We've been. What the? There. Oh, the ninja's still here. Direct the Activate the alarm. You, you, you kill him. him. You kill him now. <coughs> And Faith is just chilling there. Ah, oh, he's got a knife. It's more like a short sword than a knife. Oh, right in the face. Pick it up, Faith. And let's run. Wait. I need him alive. What was that in his hand? Oh, oh, he's convulsing. Oh, he's dead. Cyanide. There you go. Poisoned himself. Pick it up and run, Faith. Yeah! Here we go! Boom! Yeah, gotta find a way out. Oh no! They're firing, they're gonna be shooting at me! Use traversal to build focus shield. So yeah, the focus shield is something where you can like dodge bullets. Um... There you go, it just says it right there. It lets you dodge bullets. And so you build up focus by uh, not screwing up all your uh, all your moves that you're making. Oh shit! Oh, all right. I guess I can go through. We gotta got run. We gotta run. We gotta get out of here! Yeah, I'm trying. Woo! <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Oh, man. That is so awesome. We gotta make a jump. Ah, oh, that's a pad. See, the pads are good because, yeah, you don't have to worry about breaking your fall. Oh, yeah. They didn't, they didn't like that at all. I don't know. You're the one that sent me there, homie. Why are you yelling at me? We gotta run. Uh -uh. Nah, man, these guys are on me. Yeah, don't worry, bro. I got it. I don't. I don't need any help. I guess. Yeah, your thumbs are always gonna be on the on the on the joysticks. All your control, not all of them, but most of your controls are done using the L and R buttons, L1, L2, R2. I mean, you got your slide on the L2, you got your jump on the R1, and you got your uh, focus and your shift, uh, as they call it, on the uh, R2 button. The shift allows you to make little short jumps, rushes, to uh, Increase your speed right after you do like a, a land and a flip or a jump over something. I'm really confused because this dude's yelling at me for going into the Kruger place, but he sent me in the Kruger place and now I'm, everyone's mad at me because I went into Kruger place. It's like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? Corporations rule rule. You know, it's so funny when a game or a movie or a TV show preaches anti-corporatism. 
because it's corporations that are making these things. I find that very amusing. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's kind of a good thing that they're self, at least pretending to be self-aware. Oh man, some shit went down with Faith in her past. You should have cooperated, Doctor Connors. Should have cooperated, Doctor Connors. What are you doing, Doctor Connors? What is that? That, my little squirrel, is your future. Oh. This story might be a bit deeper than the first one game. <laughs> the first game really didn't have a story. It was kind of all hinged around... I mean, it had a story, of course. But it was not great. It was kind of hinged around the gameplay. And the gameplay was fucking solid. Like, I don't know what they could have done to improve it. And the gameplay for this for the sequel here seems to be uh, very similar to the uh, original. Which goes to show you, if it's not broken, don't fix it, you know? Now, I'm, I'm kind of curious, because, I, I, I mean, I'm not sure about this. See ya. Later, dude. Oh. Oh. That is a long way down. Okay, so... I see one problem with the game. When you look down, I mean, you're not generally you're supposed to look down, to be honest. So, I mean, I'm not totally surprised. But the world looks empty. I mean, there's no cars down there. There's, there's some people, but barely any people. I mean, the city could be on a lockdown or whatever. Shadow's pretty cool. Um, they're a little blocky. But, I mean, that's not too bad. But, yeah. That's... The world seems kind of empty down there. I mean, it's empty up here, but it's supposed to be. We're on fucking rooftops. Um, one of the coolest fucking things, and the scary... One of the reasons I want there to be VR for a VR adapter for this, for the for Project Morpheus, or for the, the HTC Vive, or Oculus Rift, or whatever on the PC, is because of this. This... Is going to be absolutely terrifying in VR. <laughs> to fall off <laughs> the roof like that? Holy shit. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more dribble. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button down below. It really helps me a lot because it helps the video get seen by more people and shows up in Google search. It's really complicated, kind of silly, but if you liked it, Remember to hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. I'll, we can chat about how awesome this fucking game is going to be. And uh, I will uh, see you guys next time.